Hello everyone, Pinder Productions here and today I'm at the train station for a trip to London because I am going to the Ferrari Under the Skin exhibition at the Design Museum in Kensington. So I'm getting the train here, it's in about 10 minutes time so hopefully it should be arriving soon and we'll be going to London on the train. So now I have arrived at the Design Museum and this is what I was greeted with when I first arrived and here we go looking at the rest of the building but now I will go into the exhibition itself and look at this first car as you enter a replica Ferrari and an engine there. Um, I didn't talk while I was in the museum like vlogging, I'm uh, well I'm not very confident outside like talking to a camera while I'm on my own, I think people probably think it's weird still. YouTube is probably quite a new concept to some, so I am narrating this in post. These are some designs on the wall. Uh, I just walked around, filmed stuff, so I'm going to put in a sort of montage description of the things that I saw in the museum, and I really do like some of these designs. They're very cool. And after I did film these, I did go back and read the plaques, because they are some interesting things, like these CAD drawings of the 2000 Formula 1 car there the Ferrari F1 2000, you can hopefully read that, and the 2007 car there on the wall, so these are very cool. And so carrying on with this design section of the museum, here we have the Ferrari J50 celebrating the 50th anniversary of Japan, and this is a half clay, half car model, so I thought this was really cool to see, this sort of design process of bundling the cars, and this car just looks so mean and aggressive, like it has such a cool stance to it, it's, I don't know, I really like this car, it looks pretty amazing and aggressive, and yeah, I really like this uh, model that they had, and I, it just looks so cool, and it's interesting to see how the clay model looks in real life, and moving on, these are some older designs, so they used to build models out of wood to see what they would look like so that's what that likes and then there's a sort of bodywork like stripped down bodywork there of an older car and then this is sort of the framework of a car here uh, so that was very interesting then we move on to some wind tunnel scale models so this was quite interesting seeing the scale models used to do wind tunnel and aerodynamic development which is obviously quite important in modern day Formula 1 these are sort of some more earlier on wind tunnel models for earlier cars in Ferrari's history which is very cool to see and very interesting I know I keep using the word cool but it is very cool and this is a stripped down sort of running chassis for an older Ferrari from 1967 I forgot the actual model name but this is very interesting to see not often that you see a car stripped down so much so that you can see all the working components of the car and then this is the Ferrari 488 GTB engine on display in front of the 458 Spider sort of chassis monocoque. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact term, but this is quite interesting because you have to make the cars more rigid to be a folding hardtop. And this was apparently the first to do so back in about 2011. And after taking a look at the design of the cars, now we move on to some real cars, here's a one-off 250 Testarossa without a roof and another more classic car, the other two classic cars we'll go back to in a second, they ha both have I believe V12s, uh, if I remember correctly, and there is the Ferrari F40, such an amazing car over there, really stunning thing to see, and then here are the two more classic cars, quite uh, interesting to see that they don't have seat belts as well, being from the 60s, and now we move on to some racing, here's the 1958, I believe it was, uh, racing British Grand Prix trophy, and now we move on to some racing cars from way back in the 50s through to 60s, 70s, 80s, and all sorts, so this one raced at Le Mans, I believe it was Sterling Moss who raced it, this blue one, and they added the wing at the back there 
Uh, poor excuse from a wing by today's standards and they added some winglets and at the last minute and it still didn't make it through then here is a 250 GTO such an epic car I love the green color on this one and you may have seen the rear wing of another special car here the 2000 Ferrari Formula 1 car driven to the world championship by Michael Schumacher this is the car from the year that I was born so quite special for me uh, and this is the era that I sort of grew up in when I was much younger but this was quite a thing to behold so close and behind these racing cars we have the helmets through the years going all the way back through time to see the evolution of how safety has improved for drivers and head protection until two of Michael Schumacher's designs and Kimi Raikkonen's 2007 helmet design and here we have the LaFerrari engine the V12 hybrid cars system used in this the LaFerrari Aperta the future of well cars I suppose you could say at least for now being a hybrid hypercar very cool to see the end of this exhibition I've just finished in the Ferrari exhibit and I'll see what I can do with editing and regards to that now I'm just looking around the museum in the free section and down there is a Ferrari it's very cool but anyway just thought I would show that off this museum is very cool like really open and big and grand and the roof is very cool as well like this is the design museum if I didn't already say that but yeah it is very cool in here quite open and the roof is a very cool design uh, you can look up pictures online of like the outside of the roof is quite intricate shapes I would say just thought I would mention that but anyway I'm gonna have a look around now so here I am taking a look at a few things that I thought would be of appeal to some viewers of this channel it was a design a wall of sort of general design I guess you could call them icons a another bare chassis for a car and we have some tech some old tech to new tech all sorts of different things different designs and all sorts of different stuff such as these record turn tables for vinyl records and things like that and then there's also headphones there and the iPod shuffle that's the actual iPod shuffle I have and then next to that you can see a Samsung Galaxy phone one of the more modern ones there's a Oculus Rift and we have some older telephones here so quite interesting designs I think one of the first mobile phones was up there as well uh, some old computers and up to some more modern laptops as well uh, maybe some of you recognize those maybe not I don't know uh, different optical medias and floppy disks and then some gaming devices here as well and cameras and some clocks there, different clock designs so I thought people would be interested in that and it is quite interesting to see how that has happened but anyway thank you for watching the video I do hope you enjoyed it and if you did give the video a like, comment below and subscribe to the channel if you only want to see more like this. Bye!